Hello and welcome to this video. This is Catrix, and in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at nothing. See ya. Ha! <laughs> I'm kidding. So, what we're really going to be looking at is decals. Now, what is decals? So, decals is just basically an image that you can put on the 3D part as like a texture. Uh, for example, or maybe you could put a logo or something like that. So here I have this knob which I uh, created a video tutorial on uh, at the very beginning of my channel's creation, which is just an air fryer knob replacement. So uh, yeah, this is what this is, if you're wondering. And you can see this is a knurled pattern, which is both aesthetic and also functional. So we can use it to uh, grip the part better. Anyway, this is not what this video is about, so let's uh, go in on decals. So, to add a decal, you want to go to Insert and Decal. So we're going to click on that, and now what I'm going to do is find a PNG. You could probably use a JPEG, but I'm going to use a PNG because I prefer that file format, and it preserves transparency if you don't have a background. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna click on this and uh, face. Now we're gonna click on what face we want our decal to appear on. And obviously, the best one for me is to use this big flat face here. So if we click that, in some time. Uh, normally it's a little quicker than that, but I'm not sure why it's taking so long. So yeah. So you can see our decal is now appearing on. The nice flat face so we can reposition it using the arrows as uh, which is pretty much common sense and if we go to the edge you can see it kind of wraps around the corner and if you don't want this sort of effect you can eliminate it by turning off change faces so there we go now it doesn't do that I'm just going to turn it back on because it's not a big concern for me at the moment. There we go. So if you ever have this mode on and you can't see anything here, you can select this menu here. So we can just click on the double arrow. So we can just move this about using this uh, pan tool like that. We can, we can scale it up with this corner tool here or scale it in the X axis only, the Y axis only, and we can flip it with these for whatever reason you'd even want that, you can do it. So I'm just going to scale it down using the corner. Now we can see that we have the ability to change the opacity. So what if we don't want uh, the opacity like that? So yeah. So yeah. Um, let's say we want to put it on. A cylinder so I'm just gonna create a new shape and make it 60 I'm just gonna put 60 because I like it like that uh, now we're gonna extrude this to about 100 now we can go back to insert decal and go back to uh, let's try hmm, let's try this one so if we click on the face we can see it maps to the curvature of the shape and of course, because we've got chain faces on, if we go too high up, it will start wrapping around like a piece of cloth. So the useless thing about decals, apart from putting logos on for renders, which you do in this menu here, which I haven't done a video on yet, is kind of useful, say, if you have, let's say you have a circuit board shape and you don't want to have to model all the little traces and stuff. Um, you get it from a PCB software. What you can do is take a uh, like a screenshot of the texture in the PCB software, and then insert it onto the model as a as a decal. And that way, it's like the texture is there, um, but really, there's no 3D geometry. It's just kind of a flat picture. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. So this was one of my final year projects at university, and I. This is the board shape which I imported from the PCB software, but it came in without any texture, which was a bit 
irritating really and uh, that doesn't really look good so what I did is take a screenshot of the board in the software that displays it properly and then applied it as a decal in Fusion 360 so even like the, the pads appear in the almost the correct place so that once you render it uh, with you know nice lighting uh, can really make it look a lot better than if we didn't have it at all so yeah and this is a very very common thing that they do in video games so any kind of road surface building surface in any game such as GTA 5 GTA 4 whatever this is what they're using so essentially using a texture on a 3d model um, but of course they have things like uh, bump maps which uh, adds uh, like some like a 3d effect sort of uh, which interacts with the environment lighting depending on what angle you are looking at uh, so there's all types of uh, maps which uh, modify the texture which we can't do with a decal alone but yeah that kind of gives you an idea so yeah that is essentially decals in a, in a nutshell it's not really much to it to be honest uh, so yeah I've found decals useful for um, having to eliminate the ability to model complicated uh, uh, miniature components we just have a texture of all them okay so thank you for watching and uh, i'll catch you in the next one if you enjoyed this video please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this or if you found it horrendous please feel free to insult me in the comments and while you're here, don't forget to check out the previous video, if you haven't already, and the next video. Catch you in the next one.